Crosby on the attack, looking to cut it. He got back and scores! Sidney Crosby, welcome back! Tampa's trying to come in alone! Scores! Today, NHL 30 matches the speed of the fastest game on earth. 30 teams in 60 minutes. Two man, corrals the shoot, scores! Tell you the most important issue facing every NHL team. Pittsburgh trades Jordan Stall. Our panel looks at all the newsmakers. NHL 30 now. How are you, Canada? James Duffy alongside Mike Johnson, Pierre Lebrun, and Bob McKenzie. Welcome to episode two of our Game On Week specials. A rare guarantee your favorite team will be covered tonight because we will cover every single one of them. Two conferences, six divisions, 30 teams, one hour. Minus commercials, 48 minutes, now down to 47. So let's get at it. We'll be addressing one key issue for every single team in the National Hockey League. Let's get it started with the Northeast Division. Tremendous night! Charles and Dent in the back pipe of the net! What a move by Jason Spencer! Highlight real stuff! Eric Carlson has grip against things offensively. Okay, let's start with the obvious in Toronto. The Maple Leafs goaltending has been among the league's worst for the last six years. Are they going to do something to improve their goaltending? New general manager Dave Nonis is looking for a goaltender, but not looking for a goaltender at any price. Right now, the Maple Leafs feel the price on Roberto Luongo is too high. They're now kicking tires on Jonathan Bernier with the LA Kings, although the Kings may or may not be in a position to move Bernier because of Jonathan Quick coming off of surgery. Uh, so it's very real possibility that James Reimer will be in net for the Montreal, uh, for the Toronto Maple Leafs when they play the Montreal Canadiens on Saturday and that Ben Scrivens will be his running mate. They will make a move if it makes sense and at the right price, but they're not prepared to do absolutely anything. Uh, Eugene Melnick calls the Ottawa Senators the envy of the National Hockey League, but now suddenly with injuries to Jared Cowan on D and Mike Lundin, might they have to get some help there? I think that's probably going to be uh, the case, James. You know, they feel great about their depth up front, and obviously in goal they got three guys that can play in the NHL, but on defense with the injury to Jared Cowan, gone for the year with the hip uh, surgery, Mike Lundin with the broken finger, suddenly very thin. Now they're taking a look at their HL call-ups this week, and depending how they do, that'll affect their decision, but in the end, I I think if it's either by waivers or by a trade, they'll probably pick up a defenseman in the next week here. And again, they're so deep up front, that's where they may get the trade from, is to trade a forward for a defenseman. In Montreal, we continue to await the signing of restricted free agent P.K. Subban. But is the bigger question mark Andre Markov and his right knee? Hasn't played a full season now since 08-09. It is. There was this general assumption. Once he's healthy, he'll get back to be playing. And yes, he, the good news is he is healthy. He's played 38 games in the KHL, but he only had two points over there. And there is genuine concern how quickly he can get his game back, if he can get it back at all. And they need him to, not only to help out their defense, but also their forwards. He's the kind of guy, a table setter, who makes everything happen. And it's going to take him a little while, and they know that, but they're very concerned. Without PK in camp, that much more will be expected of Markov early. He's going to have to be good. You'd also like to see Carey Price return to the wins form of a couple of years ago. His wins were way down last year, although you can blame that on the team as much as the goaltender for sure. Buffalo, Cody, Cody Hodgson and Tyler Ennis right now slated as the first and second center. Are they too green down the middle, that team? Well, they're young and they're not big, and certainly they're, they got oodles of talent, but I think that has to be the thing you look at if you're the Buffalo Sabres. Can Cody Hossett in his first real crack at the number one job in the NHL do the job? Can Tyler Ennis do it? Now, they're going to keep Ennis to start the year with Drew Stafford and Marcus Fellini. Well, that was a tremendous line for them late in the season. Hossett on the big line uh, with uh, Vanek and Pumminville, but that is where the question mark, uh, I think, is for the Buffalo Sabres to start the year. Back in 2009-2010, Tuka Rask was number one in save percentage in the National Hockey League, then Tim Thomas took over and was fantastic for a couple of years. Thomas is gone. It's back to Rask now. Is he up for the task of being the number one in Boston? The Bruins are very confident that Tuka Rask is going to have no trouble sliding in there being the number one goalie as he was three years ago. He put up tremendous stats when he was that much younger.